Now, a principle, when we talk about a principle, uh, there are some definitions of them. Uh, the, the one I like has come from a paper on uh, software architecture, the principles of software architecture. Uh, the definition of a principle taken from the Oxford English Dictionary, and I'll read it out, is a general law or rule adopted or professed as a guide to action, a settled ground or basis of conduct or practice. It's a fundamental motive or reason for action, especially one consciously recognized and followed. So the, the principle the, there in that context, and that's only one of several definitions of a principle in the Oxford English Dictionary, but the, the, that definition is something that helps you make a decision. The one that I saw in um, quoted, it comes from a paper by Grefhorst and Eric Proper in Architecture Principles, is a declarative statement that normatively prescribes a property or an, uh, or of an artifact which is necessary to ensure that the artifact meets its requirements. So it's, it's not simply guidance so far as they're concerned, it's a, it's a normative statement that the principal should say you must do these things. Uh, and it's intended to ensure that the artifact finishes up with meeting its requirements. Right? It's not an airy-fairy thing, it's, not, uh, it's nothing to do with the conduct of the architects. It's a principle describing the, the uh, architecture itself, not the architects. So that's a principle. Now, there are different varieties of principles. The scientific principle, for example, is a law or fact of nature underlying the working of an artifact or, for example, the law of requisite variety. So somebody has observed nature and, and deduced that there is a principle that can describe how it works. All right, so that's a scientific principle is de derived from observation of the world. A normative principle, on the other hand, is a declarative statement that normatively prescribes a property of something or rules of conduct. So is not something we derive from observing the world, it's something we impose on the world uh, for various reasons. An example there, a principle being track all defects, which is a pretty good principle. You got the idea of principles? Well, let's have a look, what is a good principle? A good principle provides a clear idea of what is required. And obviously clarity in matters. It should provide a clear test of its application. That is, if you've applied a principle, you should be able to look at the, the consequent work and be able to tell very clearly that the principle has been applied or has not been applied. All right? So it should be a clear test of its application. It is not useful to have a principle where its application is very undecidable. It must be very decidable. There must be a clear and credible rationale. You need the rationale. I'll deal more with the rationale um, later. It must be supported by evidence. Um, now, um, that's, that's sort of a, a claim. I, I would claim that if you're going to have principles accepted, you better provide evidence to why they're necessary or why they work. Um, so we'll start with the uh, the idea that you really ought to provide evidence. And that this doesn't stop somebody coming up with a new principle or a principle that you actually want to apply in your organization, for which at the moment there is no evidence. 